Kaminga with four, with three. Kaminga blocked by Christie. Right back. And Kaminga is there to beat the buzzer. The Warriors have done that twice tonight. What a wonderful way to return after the All-Star break, man. What a win against the Lakers without LeBron, of course, but we were still without Chris Paul and GP2 was out with an illness, so uh, we've had our missing players, of course, not on the caliber of LeBron, but still, a win is a win and especially a comfortable one for this Warriors squad, right where we know how they have been all season with blowing leads and all of the stuff, and it was a great win, man, they just played a really good ball game. Um... Steph was on early on, and he had 32 points, 8 assists, 6 of 13 from the field, uh, from the 3-point line, 12, 12 of 24 from the field. Uh, Andrew Wiggins had 20 points and was really active tonight, uh, even more in the second half, which I found intriguing, because, you know, usually when Andrew Wiggins has great games, we get him involved early and often, and he did have 5 points early on, but there were pretty much no actions ran for Wiggins early on, and... Most of his damage came later on, uh, you know, in the second quarter, in the fourth quarter, he was really good, so a uh, really good game from Wiggins, and it was just a good all-around performance from pretty much everyone, L let's just put it that way, right? Uh, Clay, even though he was one of nine from the field, was really good off the bench, and had a really good chemistry with Trace Jackson Davis, so hopefully we get 10 minutes together, uh, you know, when he is on the bench unit, which in the new rotation, quote-unquote new rotation, seems to be happening. And, you know, let me show you the rotations tonight. Uh, what was very noticeable was, of course, Clay coming in with uh, Moses Moody, which I presume would be Gary Payton if he was healthy. Uh, but it was uh, Moses Moody and Clay Thompson coming in first, both the first and third quarter, it was around the five to six minutes in, uh, in both quarters, which I don't mind. And it was for Jonathan Kuminga and Brandon Pochemski, of course, who both then can return from spurts. And it was an intriguing, intriguing choice to say the least, because the bench unit looked pretty solid, right? Uh, well, pretty solid looked. Interesting. Brandon Pojemski, Clay Thompson, um, Andrew Wiggins was with them, and then you had also Dario Saric and Trace Jackson Davis playing those minutes together to start the second and the fourth quarter. I still don't know how I feel about Dario being in there uh, for about what was it? About eleven minutes of actual, you know, competitive game time defensively. I would like to send some of those minutes to go to Kuminga, but him and Trace make sense, right? He spaces the floor, Trace is the rim running big, uh, but at the same time it makes even less sense that Kuminga's out there with Looney for us for five minutes, you know, five of the eight minutes that Looney has played, and he simply should be playing really those spot minutes, maybe those three minutes at the end of the third quarter, which doesn't mean he has been bad, but... And he has not showed some solid attitude because tonight I thought he did, you know, he did okay in those eight minutes. My point is that he just doesn't look as effective and as useful as Trace, who can run the floor much better, right? Can protect the rim much better and has clearly better finishing skills, even though some of his finishes, like I said in yesterday's video, are just intriguing to say the least. But he has been finishing around the rim really well and he had 17 points tonight, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, 17 and 5 in 15 minutes and him and clay are clearly developing a chemistry so we hope that those two continue to play those start of the second start of the fourth quarters together and yeah so that was essentially it with the uh, bench unit we also saw lester quinone still get some minutes to end the first and the third quarter uh, I wonder if those will go to Moody if GP2 is back and we will see GP2 and Moody or if it, will it be GP2 and Quinones which we have seen throughout the last nine games prior to this one before the All-Star break so I'm intrigued about that uh, Jonathan Kuminga got, got just 24 minutes tonight felt like he could have been involved a little more uh, he did take two threes in the first quarter 
which uh, weren't great. He was one of five, so that might have been the reason. Uh, he obviously would have finished with like 28, 29 minutes if this was a close, closer game. Uh, but I feel like he could still be in here instead of Dario a little bit earlier in the second quarter or maybe, which is what we have done prior to this game, play about 6-6-6, six, six, and six, right? He, he, he essentially played 6 minutes, got benched for about 3 minutes, 6 minutes again to... to you know, split the first and second quarter, then sit a bit and then play the last five or six minutes of the uh, second quarter. So I wouldn't mind that. We'll see what's gonna go, what's gonna happen with that. But I felt like we didn't utilize him enough early on and didn't have the ball in his hands. Uh, like I think we could have had a little more early. But at the end of the day, Steph was going early on and it made sense to have the ball in his hands without them adjusting, because once they adjusted and they put uh, Anthony Davis on Kuminga, we put the ball in Kuminga's hands a little more, and he made some really good plays happen. And I just liked, you know, our energy defensively. Once again, we were moving well together. We were helping very well together. And the switching was also working together. The communication seemed better, because you saw some of the rotations actually be filled fairly well. Yeah, we were late on some of those, but they were all the right ideas or the right place. Like, I can remember the one where Clay was sprinting from too far away, but it was the right switch. But the pattern, nonetheless, um, yeah, that was what I really liked. And of course, we continue to just uh, play at a much faster pace that has been just helping everyone, essentially. Wiggins has been unlocked with that. Kuminga, of course, is sensational with that. Hope they both can have more than six rebounds combined, but at the same time, uh, Moses Moody, you know, grabs tough rebounds. Pojemski goes after the rebounds, right? So, uh, and they both defend perimeter players. So sometimes it's hard for them to pick their spots for rebounding girl really, because you don't want to steal rebounds from others. And I feel like Kuminga always uh, is involved with someone else who takes the rebound from him. Uh, so there's that. But I would much rather have them ha be playing, play that really good defense on the perimeter with D'Angelo Russell struggling, Austin Reeves being forced to not shoot as much. So you like to see those. And hey, 32 points combined from those two is really nice. And Kuminga also had some really good assist plays. And uh, I loved the play where he directed the offense. I'm pretty sure it was uh, at the end of the third quarter where he had the ball up top key and he directed the play for Clay with Trace and it went, it uh, directed, resulted into a easy wide open dunk for Trace. So that was awesome to see. I just, you know, I really love Kuminga. So I just want to see him play for the eight minutes. So I got to get my own biases out my head. Uh, it worked really well tonight. Uh, and I think if he has a better first quarter, we're going to look for him more. If Steph isn't going uh, as well as he did, in the first quarter, we're going to look for him more, right? It's also how the others are playing and Steph had it going in the first quarter. JK didn't. And I wonder how those rotations will shape out if he'll be playing, like I said, maybe three more minutes to start the seconds, to start the fourth. We'll see. Uh, happy for Moses. Four and six had, some, had two really good dunks. Hopefully the three ball comes along if he gets those chances because if he gets like 15 minutes a night, uh, like Leicester and GP2, you know, uh, it could be an intriguing, uh, intriguing choice because Leicester today had some careless moments, was fouling a little too much, so maybe uh, this could open up the door for Moody to actually get his minutes when GP2 returns, which probably won't be tonight. I don't know, we'll see. And yeah, hopefully we continue to roll with Trace to start the second, to start the fourth. And maybe give him even some more spot minutes where it's necessary. Instead of playing Loon 8 minutes, give Trace 20 of those, right? And Loon for maybe 3 to 5 spot minutes. And it feels like we're cooking, right? I like what I'm seeing. A good win against a team that it was needed against. Because, well, they were still undermined without LeBron, of course. But we defended really well. Uh, Darwin, Ham, Darwin Ham also said they couldn't defend as well because AD lost his voice. So... Uh, you gotta take that into consideration. Maybe we wouldn't stand a chance against a voice full AD. 
And tonight we play the Charlotte Hornets, who are quietly on a four-game winning streak, actually. And uh, Trey Mann has been bowling for them. That person that should not be in the league has been bowling for them. So um, I'm a little intrigued to see how it goes against Charlotte. Also, I want to shout out Pots, man. I completely forgot to shout out Brandon Pojemski, man. He's been awesome. He continues to be awesome. Um, and he played 20, 28 minutes. Didn't shoot the ball as efficiently as well against AD, which makes sense. But he still had 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 10 points. And all around hustle plays. So, yeah, really happy with the win. Can't wait to watch more Warriors ball tonight. And, hey, we're continuing our groove. I like it. The schedule is pretty, uh, I would say, favorable for us. Um, we have Denver, but then we have the Wizards, I'm pretty sure uh, we have some other uh, not so quote-unquote great teams okay, the Knicks will be tough in Madison Square Garden but uh, the schedule isn't as hard as it was to start the year, so I'm really excited about this one, and yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow with the Warriors Charlotte game as always, be kind to yourself and to others and see ya for Hornets Warriors Dub Nation.